Hello everyone. Welcome to Emily's Cupboard. I'm so glad to have you here watching our video. Um, today we are going to be featuring our very first DIY project. And it truly is a DIY project um, because our feature is McKinsey Child's Teapot Teacup and it is inspired by the courtly check design that McKinsey Child is so popular for. And so I wanted to show you this setup, but before I come back and, and tell you or show you a little bit more of what we've done, um, we're going to show you the process of how this was created. Okay, here we go with the process. Couldn't find any cardstock that was courtly check. So we ended up buying McKenzie Child's courtly check wrapping paper. We took some tacky spray and we attached it to the wrapping paper, um, the wrapping paper to the 12 by 12 cardstock. And then we trimmed the edges from the wrapping paper to have it line up with our cardstock and there we go. We have got some Hortley Check McKinsey Child cardstock. Next, we pick our designs using the Cricut designs uh, that are available. The design is then sent to the Cricut machine, and we start out by just using the plain cardstock, the plain white cardstock, cutting out our teapot design. And once that is Finished, we have all the parts of just the plain cardstock ready to be assembled. Piece by piece, we take the tacky glue and we're applying it to the tabs. The videos that are available are wonderful by SVG Cuts and Dreaming Tree to show exactly how the process of assembling comes together. It goes together very quickly. They have wonderful videos, which are very, very helpful. Um, fun process, but there again, this is just the plain white cardstock, and we will be putting panels over these. I'm gonna show you maybe three of those panels being assembled and then we're going to show you the spout. And here we have the spout, and they're ready to be assembled and attached. We take the spout part, and we just kind of curl it a little bit to give it that spout effect. Take the tabs, put the glue on the tabs, and we start assembling that, and there you go. We've got a teapot spout. There again, just the plain white cardstock ready to be put on the base of the teapot and it's starting to come together and getting real excited about this point how it's going to be looking but it is taking shape for sure there we go we're going to be putting in that little spout from the inside poking it out through the hole pulling it through and there we go, we've got a tea spout all ready for our teapot. Isn't it starting to look cute? Now the fun part comes. We take our cardstock that we have adhered the wrapping paper to, and one by one, after we've cut out those panels, we start applying them to the white cardstock base, one by one, all around our teapot until we have it done. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? All ready for the final reveal. Now that you've seen the process, which was fun, um, I wanted to show you the final reveal. This is our teapot that is all done. And what I did is after it was finished, I took a glaze to make it look like enamel and I put it all over the teapot. I'd ordered a little topper from Amazon, 
we attached it to a little gold embellishment. And then I took just a gold leaf pin and I outlined, getting it to look somewhat like a Mackenzie Child. And even though we won't have a Mackenzie Child's teapot, I thought that it turned out really, really good. Loved the handle on this, loved the glaze. And then, while we didn't show you the process of the teacup, still the same process. The uh, overlays on the white cardstock, cutting it out, putting the panels, and then also the little saucer. Um, we did have some of the McKinsey Child's napkins, which I will be using for a tea party in the future, using this as the centerpiece and maybe just a little display. I did buy a plate. It's not a McKinsey Child's plate, but it was close enough. And I just used that as a little backdrop to our display. And then my husband surprised me and he said, look, well, you know how he loves to make these little cards. And this little invitation card says tea time. But he took the pattern of the McKinsey Child and he used it in the tea time invitation the embellishments. I just thought that that was just so appropriate that in the future, if I do have a tea party that features this as a centerpiece, I will make sure that these are the invitations that are sent out with it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before I wrap it up, we also have the little envelopes that my husband made and it has the same pattern that match the invitation card. But once again, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. This was our first DIY project and uh, it was so much fun. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would invite you, I would welcome you to join uh, and subscribing to my channel, hit that little bell for notifications. And in the meantime, until the next time, you have a very blessed day. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.